What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. The best video I'm going to do all year right here. Madden NFL Direct 15 hours ago, guys. Understand the timestamps. Understand what's going on in the community. The Madden team is aware and investigating the issues of players not being able to log into Madden after today's title update. As we get updates from the team, we'll be sure to share them. This is what EA has been doing for the last half day. I want to talk about just for a second what 2K is doing right now. Because 2K is selling a next-gen title and experience. They're telling you you're going to have a new next-gen my career, go from high school to the G League, play college for up to four years. Not four games like Madden, four years. New scenes, character storylines, whichever journey you want to take. Let's talk about the journey a Madden gamer has to take today because this is what Madden is selling you. Ratings updates. Find out who the biggest movers were. We're going to talk about what the biggest mover is in just a moment because this is what EA came out with. Just hours ago, okay, this was 15 hours of culminating of work, how to make this work around, fix this issue, right? You go over to their forum, okay? Their forum shares the same 1996 coding as their game does, and you take a step into the yard. Now, what I'm about to show you, all jokes aside, I've never seen a AAA gaming company do. I can't imagine a gaming company telling you to do what EA says to fix their product. This is the best concept they came up with. So after observing this issue, they're going to correct it for you. But in the meantime, if you have a PlayStation 4, you can close Madden NFL 21. You can go to options and you can navigate to delete and then confirm that, yeah, you want to delete that thing. And then after that, you can insert your Madden NFL 21 disc if you haven't snapped it in half. You can launch or reinstall the game from the PlayStation Store, and then you can install it. And once fully updated, we'll just launch the game. I want you to understand, this is why this game is so awful. This is why the children that work on this product sat there today, and they drank their Capri Suns. And they ate their fruit by the foot. And the best idea they had for you to fix your game was to delete it. And you and I both know. Anyone that deletes this game. Probably isn't going to reinstall it. I want you to understand. That you have one company right now in 2K. That is selling, promoting, and generating excitement. About a next gen game they're going to be releasing in a number of days. You've got Madden, who admittedly can't even get their game out on time, and now tells current users that in order to fix a problem they created with a patch, they need to just delete their game and reinstall it. If this doesn't send a message to you as a customer, if this doesn't send a message to the NFL about the quality of this company, and the caliber of the people working on this game, and the desire they have to make the best product for you and for me, then I don't know what to tell you. But what I will tell you is every single year, I have to sit here and ask myself, is this the year I don't have a channel anymore? Is this the year that EA is finally going to look at my channel and say, we're going to do everything we can to shut this guy up and hope he never creates another video for as long as we live? And I used to be a little anxious about it. I used to be a little nervous about it. But the last couple of years I've seen, I am the most beloved creator in this community when it comes to EA Sports because all they want to do is make sure that every single day, sometimes two times in a day, I have something that I can create with. Sure, there's other creators in the community. They can't create with franchise mode. They can't create with my player mode because they're stuck in a box with the garbage game that EA gives them. But EA makes sure that I have a nonstop stream of digital diarrhea that they put out, including today, where they basically tell you to navigate to delete and then confirm you're deleting this godforsaken football game off your console. I've never seen a gaming company tell you to delete their game to fix it. And I would hope anyone that deletes this game to fix it never reinstalls it on their machine again. No wonder you guys have to sit there and give your game away for free on an X-Gen console. If this isn't embarrassing enough for every single one of you in that building, then there is no level, there is no point where you are going to say, you know what? Uh, enough is enough. We can't continue to make a game like this. If you're comfortable 
with your job telling your customer to just delete their product, then I don't know how you have any care for your job. I don't know how you have any pride in your job. I don't know how you can actually look in the mirror and be proud of what you do for a living. Because it should absolutely break your soul to put the effort you should be putting into a product and then tell a customer the only way to fix it is to delete it. Those words should never come out of anyone's mouth if they truly care about the product they're putting in your hand. The last thing they would want you to do is delete it. This should be the absolute end all. Whatever you do, don't delete our game because we put passion, pride, and love into the product that we make. And instead to EA, this right here in seven easy steps is how they really feel about you. It's how they really care about you. It's how they really show they're appreciative for your purchase. They can't even begin to sit here and tell us what's coming on a next-gen game. They can't even sit here and put together a trailer or show us what our expectations should be for a next-generation console because they're too busy sitting here telling you to fix the game, you've got to delete it. And there's no one else in the community that's mad. There's no one else in the community that's upset. There's no one else in the community that looks at this and takes it for what it is. I don't understand it. I really don't. I mean, I know the game's been bad, right? We all know. We can joke about it all we want. Yeah, it's got a .2 user score, right? Yeah, a lot of people left some negative reviews on it. But did any of us think it was going to get to this point? Did anybody think that on November 6th, that was going to be the day where 2K is literally breathing life into their community while EA tells you to delete the game from your console and theirs? I mean, to be honest with you, I never thought that was going to happen, right? I never thought this day would come where you see just how little respect EA has for us. And it is frustrating. It is annoying to go look at other games and other companies and see them embrace their customer and respect their customer and want feedback, and want to make a better product. And then you look over what EA does with the NFL exclusive agreement. And in 16 hours, they can't come up with a fix for something they broke, and the only resolution they can give you is uninstall the game? There's no one at the NFL taking this seriously. No one. There's no one taking this game seriously. Even the people that work on it. I mean, put yourself in this position at your job. I don't care what you make, whether it's toilet paper or toothpicks. If you have this little pride in what you do, it's probably time to grab a box and go somewhere else. Tell you to delete the game. All the money people put in this game, all the time people put in this game. You wonder why people don't want to sit there and invest 15 hours into a franchise mode because they know eventually they might have to delete the game because you're too incompetent to make a complete product. But you sure expect people to sit there and spend thousands of dollars a month opening cards. I promise you, one streamer, one mutt gamer loses their binder on this and there'll be a problem. You know, we wonder as a community why all you do is sit there and push us into five-minute game modes. Spending as little time as we can with the game. That's why you want us in the yard to play three-minute quarters. Because you spend as little time as you can improving the game, making the game better, listening to our feedback. And this is it directly in your face. Anyone that defended this game... Defend yourself deleting it today so it can work right tomorrow. That's what happens. This is the end of the road for this game. This is the beginning of the end. If you don't believe it, then you're not looking at what's in front of you. This isn't anybody in the community telling you it's done. This is EA telling you we're done. We can't make a game anymore. Delete it.
Love to know what you guys think about this. Appreciate you checking it out. And I would love to tell you that I'd be back. But honestly, I don't know what else EA can do that's worse than this. In the week, with more commentary.